Hello, my name is Marian. I'm with Marian Jewels in Fiverr, and today I will be doing a demo on Turkish flat bead crochet. To make this bracelet, we need um, some Ceylon Tex 400 bead cord, Miyuki beads size 5, a metal button with a shank, and then as far as tools are concerned, we need a tapestry needle scissors, a crochet hook, and a thread burner. Next, load the beads uh, onto the cord using the tapestry needle. And I like to lay my beads right onto uh, the bead mat. Now all the beads have been loaded and the tapestry needle has been removed and make sure you have enough of a working end and then go ahead and do a slip knot. So for the slip knot, you do yarn over your index and your middle finger, and then you pull the loop up, and then insert the crochet hook right into that loop. And then let's do two chain stitch. So for the chain stitch is yarn over and pull through and yarn over and pull through. And then slide a bead and one more chain stitch, yarn over and pull through. There you go. And now we're gonna do a single crochet stitch and we're not gonna go right into that first loop, but right into that second one. So insert your crochet hook right there. So now you have two cord onto your crochet hook and do yarn over and pull just through the first one. And so we still have two cords right on, on the crochet hook and yarn over and then pull through and pull through both of the loops and then slide a bead. Slide one bead in place, yarn over and pull through for one chain stitch. And now turn the work around and then do a single crochet right at the previous bead. So that bead on the left, you're gonna go right behind it and above. And then yarn over, so you have two cords, yarn over and pull through one and yarn over and pull through two. And so you can also use a mantra and the mantra would be slide one bead and then chain stitch, turn the work around and then a single crochet stitch right at the bead. There we go. And then you can continue, slide the bead chain stitch, turn the work around, and one single crochet right at the bead. So yarn over and pull through one and yarn over and pull through both. And then you can just continue until you've achieved the body of the bracelet. Now the body of the bracelet is finished. So we're going to attach the button right here with, um, I usually do it with two stitch going around the shank. Make the loop with um, chain stitch. So it's yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through. And make that as long as twice the diameter of the button. So here you can just go ahead and cut the cord. For stitching the loop, uh, use the tapestry needle and then just mimic um, the chain stitch. So I just go in and then back and then through a different hole, um, come back and then I'm going to go ahead and turn the work around and then bring the cord towards one of the bead. a thread burner and if you've never used a thread burner try on a little sample before you actually use it on your bracelet 
so to make sure that you don't melt your bracelet so turn it on and once it's nice and hot just cut the thread about three millimeter away from the bracelet so you have a little tail sticking out and then bring the thread burner and just melt that end right into the bracelet and then I use my finger and push the melted end into the bracelet but I have pretty good heat resistance on my fingers if not um, use the cap to push that melted end in and now you can see it's barely noticeable and now I stitched um, the button a couple of times and then I'm going to bring the end towards the button so it can be melted um, right behind it and then just like we did for the, the loop I'm going to go ahead and cut the cord with the thread burner and then come and melt it into the, um, the bracelet and there it is and the bracelet is finished and it's ready to wear for more info about uh, this tutorial and for supplies and to look at a tutorial with uh, still pictures on my blog uh, visit my website thank you bye bye